Shoibal Ghosh is here with us. Uh, Shoibal, talking to you after such a long time, glad you could make it uh, on Thank the you, show despite technical issues. Uh, how do you uh, analyze the market in valuation terms? Yours is a typical long-term money. But if you look at the valuations versus the earnings prospects of corporate India, uh, how are you analyzing it? Does, does it appear uh, 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 you know, reasonable? Yeah, valuations are definitely uh, uh, very high uh, if we see on a P multiple basis. But uh, as I understand that at this point of time, the market is is discounting an earning cycle for the next three to five years, earning growth cycle rather. And uh, uh, it's, it's not very unlikely that at the beginning of the cycle, the multiple remains at a high level. Uh, if you see also the yield curve, uh, that's also the steepness in the curve is also telling you that that market is expecting uh, the economic growth to, to sustain for next three to five years. Uh, so yes, market is expensive. Some of the pockets of market is even more expensive as it happens, uh, you know, uh, we market tends to overshoot the fundamentals from time to time. But yeah, this is the time to uh, pick up the stock very, very carefully. Uh, Ajay. Are you participating in many of these consumer tech IPOs which are making to the market because this argument of valuation is appears to be most hectic and loudest in those pockets. Uh, many out there are confused about how to value them in the first place. But investors are definitely making a beeline. Are you too participating in some of them? Are you looking forward to some of the future offerings? Yeah, we do because uh, I mean the belief in technology is definitely there. And uh, from that point of view, Ajay, if you see that we are at a, at, a, at an inflection point where you are seeing uh, disruptions of uh, some of the sectors. I mean, let's take for example, uh, uh, you know, two wheelers. The disruptions are here and now, right? And at the same time, you are seeing uh, some of the new tech, uh, new age, uh, you know, digital and e-commerce companies are getting listed. And maybe the composition of the index will undergo a sea change in next two to three years. Uh, given the valuation, you know, at the end of the day, market market love to buy uh, growth. And many of these e-commerce players who are coming, they are actually in a demand aggregator. And um, so, so from that point of view, I agree that in a traditional valuation methods, it's very difficult to frame them in a logical uh, way. But having said that, uh, some of the valuations will also evolve. Uh, but as I said, at the end of the day, market loves to buy growth. And I, I firmly believe that this, uh, the, 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 this is the beginning of a change in the composition of index in days to come. And we as fund managers have to, have to be ahead of it and, and uh, recognize some of it. Ajay. Mm -hmm. Sharbal, how are you approaching the broader markets, the mid caps in particular? I see some very high quality, largish mid caps in your portfolio, apart from the usual large caps, some from yeah. the chemical side, some others. Uh, how, what kind of large mid, largish or mid sized mid caps are you really uh, picking? What category of what are you look at them? Not a particular category, Ajay. It is more a buttons of approach because, you know, at the end of the day, uh, uh, we also believe in the domestic growth story to pick up in days to come. And, uh, you know, the, uh, you see any high frequency data, uh, the indicators and everything. Uh, we, we believe that uh, the, this growth cycle will continue for next three to five years. And uh, uh, if we really were to play the domestic growth story, uh, you know, uh, mid cap typically represent the India growth story better than uh, many of the large caps. So, so some of the mid cap stock you know, walk into your portfolio from that uh, perspective. And as you have rightly identified that these are little largish mid cap, good quality names, uh, no governance issues, strong uh, business uh, 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 model. So yes, I mean, we are banking on a few of them. And secondly, as you said that from a broader market perspective, look, so far we were playing an inflationary trade where we were overweight on the source of inflation like commodities and all and which has given you a handsome return. But going forward, we believe that, you know, the the companies with a stronger pricing power, uh, even in domestic market, will perhaps uh, fetch a, a good return in, in, and as a result, some of the mid caps are in our portfolio. Mm -hmm. uh, Shoibal, where exactly are you seeing the 
best margin of safety and most attractive risk reward? Maybe some contra calls or do you think it doesn't merit braving? Uh, maybe the ignored financial parts of financial which are ignored a, a lot and are sub book value. Parts of autos which are uh, you know completely ignored because of disruption ahead or even some capital goods which are trading lower at lower versus the replacement cost. Yeah, yeah. Anything on your radar? Yes, I think uh, uh, there are three sectors where uh, you know, broadly what we are looking uh, looking good. One is definitely, uh, as you pointed out on the on the on the on the industrial side, there are some stocks where we are finding uh, great opportunity. And some of the uh, you know capex stock which is on the on the digital front, and and um, uh, those are those are the area where where we are finding it extremely important because you know this this uh, as I said that we are at a at a, at an inflection point where digital is taking over and that expansion is also happening in the in the industrial capex sector as well so we are banking on some of those stocks we are also finding real estate at a very very interesting point given the valuation at this point of time because uh, you know we are affordability the rates i mean uh, the housing rates in large part of the country have gone nowhere in last 5 7 years the affordability index has gone up uh, the RERA is definitely a, a great change and, and and we are also seeing some of the new generation housing finance companies coming up. Uh, we, we are quite positive on the, on the real estate sector and we are finding value there. And we think from a risk return perspective, those would be interesting a uh, pocket. All right, Shaibal, we'll let you go on that one. Thanks so much for our time. Thank you, Ajay. And, Thanks. Uh, are you video. chilling in Goa in your pad? That bookshelf is looking really nice or is it in Mumbai? I am in Mumbai and studying. All right. <laughs>